Hello everyone and welcome to Adam Sharp Weekly. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create your Swift package, deploy it, publish it to GitHub, and then add a reference to it and start using it in your applications. So let's first go ahead and take a look at our application that we're building. This is a very simple app for dog facts. You can see on the right hand side, it displays all the dog facts from an API and everything is working perfectly fine. For this app, I implemented a networking library called Web Service, which consists of one function, fetch, and a network error enum, and the class is called Web Service. And everything is working perfectly fine, but I may have to use this Web Service library, or the class that I've created, in other future projects. So I want to expose this code as a package so I can reuse it in different projects. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to the file menu. And currently, you can see that this is a Swift UI application. And I started out by creating a networking folder, basically a group, and then adding a web service file, just like a normal way that you add files to a project and start using it once you realize that, hey, I think this is pretty cool and I can use it in some other projects. Then it is time to investigate and invest the time to expose this as a package. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go ahead and create a new package. So once you do add new package, it's going to ask you what will be the name of the package and where do you want to store it. The name of the package, we're just going to say that this is simple networking, storing it on desktop. We will also go ahead and create a Git repository because it's good that it has a Git repository because we want to, in the end, we want to push it to GitHub. Add it to something. If you want to add it to your project, current project, then you can do that and group will be padded option, which means kind of like at the top level, it's going to add it. Let's go ahead and create it. And now you can see simple networking is actually added. It has test and everything. Uh, obviously the tests are kind of like nothing in there. You can see it's kind of, like kind of blank, all right? But you added a package over here. Now, you also have a separate project that it has created. That's on the desktop. So if you go over here, you can see that a separate project for your simple networking is added and it's placed on the desktop. So you can also open that up and that's perfectly fine. Now in this simple networking, I don't really need, so if I close everything up, you can see simple networking module has been added, the package manager has added that. And it has a couple of different folders. The one folder is for test. So if you are writing tests for your package, that's gonna go right there. I don't really have any test for the package. So if I want, I can go ahead and delete that. Uh, that will be perfectly fine. For all the sources that I'm going to be using, that will be inside the sources folder. So currently you can see that there's only one file called simple networking, and we're not really going to use that. So let's go ahead and delete that part. We already have a file that we are going to be using. All right. So let's go ahead and add our web service in that folder. There we go. Let's go ahead and build it. We have a couple of errors going on over here. You can see that now your file, your actual content is telling you, the content view, the Swift UI app is telling you that, hey, I can't really find this particular file that you are talking about. So for now, we are going to go ahead and comment this up because we have moved this file into a different place. Let's build it. Okay. Okay. So it looks like everything is fine now. Now, if we go to our package or simple networking package that we have added, you can see all the code is over there. That should be fine. All right. But the good thing is that this particular package has also been, been added as a separate project. So if I want, I can just open that up and start working on that. So for now, I'm just going to go over here, simple networking, and I will try to see if I can just remove a reference from it. 
So now we don't have any packages, nothing over here. We just removed a reference. We didn't really delete it, the package. We kind of like extracted it out from our pet adoption project so that we can use it in a separate package project that is already created for us. Now, we it resulted or this resulted in this particular pattern, this particular way, because we started with our pet adoption application and we were working in our networking library called web service. And we, at that point, we realized that, hey, this can be used in a separate, as a separate package because we want to use it in separate projects. But if you want, you can always go ahead and create a separate package project, which can be just an independent entity and not part of pet adoption, all right, or any other website that you're building. Let me go ahead and delete the networking over here also. We are not really using that. Okay, so from this, the pet adoption is now free from web service. But we still have to figure out a way to use the code that we have in our simple networking package that we just created. We want to make sure that it is deployable. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new terminal window. I'm going to just cd into simple networking folder. And let's go ahead and open up package.swift file, which in turn is going to open up Xcode. And I'm going to move this into separate desktop. There we go. Now, all the code that you see right now is the same exact code that we have written because we simply dragged and dropped the files. There are a couple of changes that you have to make. Go ahead and add a public keyword. This means that these enums, the web service itself, the fetch library itself, I mean the fetch, all will be available to as a package. And these are public functions that can be added through the use of a Swift package manager. I'm also going to go ahead and add an initializer and going to mark this with public. This means that this is a public initializer and you can create web service instance if you load it as a package. Now let's go ahead and see what's going on over here. It's trying to create, you can see the testing project is trying to create simple networking. And I, as I told you before, we don't really need testing stuff right now. So we can simply delete the whole testing stuff. I mean, if you have tests, that's perfectly fine, it's great, but we don't really need tests right now. Let's go ahead and build it. Okay. And when you delete the test, you also need to go to package.swift file and delete all of these things that we just added. It was added automatically, the test target stuff, if you're not using tests, which I'm not. Okay, it's processing and still it's failing. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. There we go, succeeded. Okay, so looks like everything is good now. And what we want to do is we want to send this package on the web so that everyone can use it if they want to. All right, so you can use any kind of a source control at this point as you desire. Uh, I'm already so this is already the simple networking package that we just created the package project. This is already a Git repository. And I'm already logged into Git. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to commit something. You can see everything is committing over here. All right. So I'm just going to say committing code for simple networking library. Let's commit it. And we can also go ahead and try to push it. Include tags if we want to. Now, currently you can see that it doesn't really have any remote added. So we need to make sure that we are adding remote. So let's go ahead and make sure that we are creating our uh, repositories and everything. So this is a repository. And new simple networking remote. So basically you have to go to this one. And then repositories, new simple networking remote. And this is where I have added my GitHub and everything. So I am already signed in 
The owner is Avan Shah repository. Repository name is simple networking. It is public. Remote name is origin. Let's go ahead and create that. I think it's already pushed or something, uh, but we can double check it. We can go. Actually, it, we may be able to go from here also. Uh, view on GitHub. And I think that's it. This is it. So it's available on GitHub now. It's already published. You can see that. It has all the code that we have, which is only one file, which is a web service. So how do we use it? So this is package. It's already deployed. It's already available on github.com. If I want to use it, I'm just going to go to code, copy this URL of the Git repository. And now I can go back to my project, which actually wants to use the simple networking library that we just published. So let's go to file and add packages and let's go ahead and search with the url if i if i click on github it actually populates this with all the different github stuff that i have but i'm going to use the search bar on the top to search for a very specific library which is this one and dependency rule branch that's fine and i'm using the main branch added to the project pet adoption and let's go ahead and add the package. That's perfectly fine. Add it. And that's it. Done. So now we have a dependency for our pet adoption project. And that dependency on is on our own custom package, which is called simple networking. Now, how do we use simple networking? Well, the first thing you need to do is to import simple networking. Once it is imported, we should be able to use the web service and all the different functions of the web service. And the reason is that the web service that we created, the actual class, which is right here, is everything is marked with public, public, and public, and public. So this means it's available for everyone outside of that particular silo to, to use it. So everyone can now use it uh, and call those functions. So if I go ahead and now try to run this, I get the same exact result. Pretty cool, right? And if you create a brand new application tomorrow and you want to use your web service, well, you can simply add the package and you'll be able to use uh, your packages and every library and everything that you have created instead of manually adding it by dragging and dropping. So that's the whole point of creating these packages uh, is you create this package and now you can import it, you can utilize it, you can reuse it in other projects. All right. So this is it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then check out my courses on Udemy. I just published a brand new course on Sif UI cookbook, which consists of over 100 recipes for Sif UI for building iOS applications. You can see that I have courses on MVVM Design Pattern, RX Swift, Sif UI itself. I have core data courses, combined courses, async and await, which is a new feature in iOS 15. So if you want to learn that, that's definitely there. If you want to learn about React development, a very basic introduction course to React also is available. And apart from that, there are a lot more courses. All right. So check out the YouTube description and you will find the link to all of my courses. And uh, thank you so much for your continuous support.